Hello, Pisces. It's my lady, and this is my lady's way tarot. And I'm coming to do your weekly express love reading for the week of hmm, May, June, June 12th through the 19th, 2023. The cards I'm using today are Dark Light Tarot by. Alexandra Bach and Carol Eshkenazi. And I'm closing off with my, with Tarot of Haunted House by Sasha Graham and Mariko Pierre Federici. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, setting up personal readings, commenting, and hitting that notification bell. All right, more foes. Let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Pisces? Cut it out. Cut it out. No. Sorry, I'm trying to calm them down now before they start fighting. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, so that one go down here. So first we have imagination, okay, beyond limits. So I do feel like somebody, imagination is going crazy right now. And I feel like somebody is going a little, a little overboard, okay? Somebody's going a little too crazy. All right, so we got the solitude alone with myself. So I do feel like somebody's imagination is going wild and somebody wants or needs some time alone, okay? Just to clear out their mind, clear out their thoughts, clear out their visions, okay? So we got the exploring car here. So it's saying far off lands are waiting, okay? So it looks like somebody's getting ready to go somewhere. Um, I do feel like just to be alone, just because it's just a lot going on with them mentally, okay? Somebody could just be going to go meditate somewhere to clear their mind about everything that's going on, okay? All right, so we got the autumn card here. It says... It is, uh, is it, is it that scary? Okay. So this makes me feel like what, what's going on? Um, what somebody is thinking about, like, is this thing that you're thinking about or what somebody might be doing to you, what you think somebody doing to you, what somebody, what you think somebody not doing? Is it really that scary? Is it really that big of a deal? Okay. Um, I feel like it might be a big deal at least right now, but I feel like somebody emotions is, out of control and that's why they took some time to they self okay took some time to they self before they get some trouble <laughs> before they get in some trouble let me go sit over here in this corner all right so we got the play play time card here so this makes me feel like somebody needs to go have some fun or somebody is getting ready to go have some fun just to release or uh let go of some stress bear do not eat that Sorry, relieving some stress. All right, so we got the mystery cards, things you cannot explain. Okay, so I just saw like an emotional roller coaster. I feel like somebody emotions is just out of whack and somebody does not ooh, know why. So this makes me feel like it could be just some kind of emotional uh, imbalance, but for some of us, it could be a pregnancy that we never thought could happen. <laughs> okay, so just watch out for that one. Um, but somebody's emotions is off. Somebody know their emotions and their feelings are off. And that's why it's like, let me get out of here before I do something I'm going to regret. Okay. All right. So we got the obsession, my eternal thirst. So I do. Oh, goodness. One of those. I be one of those sometimes too. So somebody is just digging and digging and digging and digging and digging and digging and digging. Can't find nothing. Just keep on digging. Somebody's obsessed with digging and they realize that all this digging I'm doing, I'm not going to find nothing. I got something going on. Something is going wrong. So now somebody is um breaking away um to just try to relax themselves because they know um somebody possibly having a manic episode or they just, eh, eh, emotions just off. Okay. Emotions are off. So we look at that. Emotions are off. We got the alignment card here. So here and now. So somebody got to balance they self 
ground themselves. And I do feel like that's why that meditation I was feeling earlier, um, somebody has to uh, do that just so they can, you know, come back to reality. Somebody flew away and now they got to come back. Okay. This happens to me all the time. It's a, a normal thing for some of us. Okay. But it looked like that's what's happening here. Somebody got to come back to the ground. All right. So let's see what's going on with the Pisces. Oh, that PMS stuff will do it to you too. Gone. Be gone in the wind. Come back like, oh my God, what did I do? I blew up what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, sorry ain't going to fix this. The building is gone. <laughs> okay. So it's just like, go. You feel yourself going outside of yourself. Just go hide. Before you say something you're going to regret. All right. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Uh oh. They about to go crazy. Let me let them all out. Up here. Okay. Get out. Come on. Come on, babies. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Out, out, out. All right, go. Out, out, out. That. I knew they was about to trip out, so I opened the door. All right, so let's keep going. So now we're going to close off with the Haunted House Tarot by Sasha Graham. Oh, all right, there we go right there. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the page of wands reversed here. So I do feel like somebody's getting ready to kind of cut off contact. Um, I do feel like somebody may be getting ready to turn off pages, but I feel like I'm not responding to something or someone, okay? I'm not responding. I got to cut everything and everybody off because my emotions are out of control, okay? So we got the judgment card reversed here. So I do feel like somebody made some bad decisions and now it's just like, a okay, um, this is happening again. I don't want to make any bad decisions this time, so I'm going to cut off all contact okay so we got the knight of pentacles here so i do feel like somebody is not putting any time or any money on anything outside of what's going on what they doing okay all right so we got the world card here so i do feel like i'm leaving a situation i feel like it's not over but i'm closing everything just for right now okay I just need these couple of weeks, this week, this two weeks to myself, you know, just so I don't get in no trouble, okay? All right, so we got the chariot card here. So somebody just took off. Somebody saw it happening. They saw themselves digging and just ran away into the night, okay? I under, I get it. I get it 100%. All right, so we got the nine of swords reversed here. So I do feel like a lot of anxiety, okay? Somebody having a mental situation going on here on the inside a lot of anxiety lack of sleep nightmares all that is happening and i feel like it's only happening when i'm dealing with people if i'm not dealing with people i'm at peace it, but when i'm dealing with people that's when all this happens okay and this was what separates it from being bipolar and being just emotional um you know dislocation or whatever you're saying uh but i feel I know that bipolar, you can't control that. Um, elements don't control that. You could be by yourself in a room and just flip off, okay? This person is, I'm flipping off on people. And if I'm just there by myself, I don't flip out, okay? I don't know. This is what I used to know, but you know those um, those books, they change like every six months. So last time I read one, it was, you know, it goes, you, you go crazy all the time or go out all the time or go off all the time no matter if somebody is there or not this as i'm fixating on people and things and i'm going off on them other than you know just going off okay so i do feel like somebody going by themselves at this time and i do feel like that anxiety and that obsession is over okay 
All right, so we got the Page of Swords here. So I do feel like somebody is very aggressive, very demanding, very controlling, very mean, very obsessive, very obsessed when they with somebody. And that's why they know they got to run off, okay? And I guess I can say not crazy. I mean, but they've been calling me crazy my whole life. So it doesn't mean much to me. So uh, apologies to anybody who took offense to that because... um. You know, we all got to change the way we say a lot of stuff. And uh, that's one thing that I definitely got to change. It's a couple of words that I say that uh, used to not mean that much, but now it means a lot. So uh, apologies and thanks for watching. Make sure to check your sun, moon and rising sign.